Hawaii has been referred to as the extinction capital of the U.S. We're losing plants and animals at an incredibly high rate. I take it as a personal responsibility to maintain what we still have. Welcome to the land of rare plants. Nearly 90% of Hawaiian plants don't grow anywhere else. Most of the plants are only found in these islands and oftentimes only on a ridge top or in a particular valley. They evolved in extreme isolation. This isolation has made Hawaii's plants uniquely diverse, but it also means they're really vulnerable to threats like invasive species. Hawaii is home to about 45% of all endangered and threatened plants in the U.S. And in the past two decades, 27 species are thought to have gone extinct. Every plant and every bird and, and nearly every insect is identified and has a name in Hawaiian. If we lose that, uh, then we will lose a connection to our Hawaiian culture and history. We do have an extinction crisis, and I feel compelled to, to help in any way that I can. So let's just take a peek right up here at this little ledge. Adam Williams and Ben Nyberg are the Indiana Joneses of rare plants, racing to save species from extinction. Drones have made it possible to search for plants on even the steepest cliffs. I was kind of thinking that whole face that's kind of facing us, you could pick out a spot that looks especially good to you. Okay, here I go. Okay, I got you. You want to start there and work your way down, Ben? Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. We chose the cliff for survey because that valley is one of the most biodiverse in the whole state. That's a Wilksia. Gymnosiphium though, right? Yeah, no, I'm DI. With that amount of cliff, there's just a lot of areas that haven't been explored yet. You see Lipokita. Tanada. Yeah. yeah. Bidens. Seems like kind of homogeneous grasses. So I might kind of come back around. As the climate is changing, we don't know how that's going to affect all these micro climate niches. So we're, we're making a push to, to just continue our work at a quicker rate. Ben sees exactly what the drone captured when he's back in his office. This little plant with the white flowers was a plant that we were able to locate. They're thought to be gone from around here. We have at least 10 of them in the area, which is a significant find. Now, Ben and Adam are facing a grave new threat to Hawaii's ecosystem, an invader called rapid ohia death. Ohia trees are the lifeblood of Hawaii's biodiversity and central to its native culture. 50% of all trees in Hawaii are ohia. Almost all of our native forest ecosystems are dominated by ohia. The volcano goddess Pele, in her eruptions, will destroy huge groves of ohia and her favorite younger sister, Hiyaka, is the guardian of the Ohio forest. In Hula, the new shoots and the flowers are used in laymaking, and they are a manifestation of those gods. In 2014, scientists noticed that Ohia trees were mysteriously dying. They now know that fungi are killing the Ohia, but they don't know how to stop the carnage. If rapid Ohia death went unchecked, it would be cataclysmic. It kills trees so fast that our hillsides would become all brown and dead. Erosion would become a big issue. So Ben and Adam need to collect rare plants before the forests that support them disappear. We've been making an extra push to find rare plant populations in case that habitat is severely altered with Rapidohia death. Okay, so we're descending now. Just about to go over the edge. We 
wanted to do was select some Wuxia habdii plants that had seeds on them, collect the seeds, and then we could bring them into our nursery and help keep the species going if it were to go extinct in the wild. Wuxia habdii is a federally listed endangered species. We think there's about 6,000 individuals left, um, so pretty rare. And the dry cliff habitat that they're known from is in threats from goats. So we want to make sure that we get to all the plants. It wasn't very nice getting caught in the rain, but at least I had already made um, three successful seed collections from three different plants and tagged them. These are the seeds I got today. Each of these is from a different plant, so it was a good haul. <laughs> I get this question a lot. Is there a use for humans for these plants? Some of them do have uses, but I don't think that that makes them necessarily more important for conservation. Hopefully by conserving that plant and preventing its extinction, we'll be able to one day restore part of that ecosystem. They're spectacular and they should be preserved for that reason alone.